Hey, nice to have you back here. In this lesson, I want to talk about the very fundamental building blocks of a processing sketch, setup and draw. Let's look at the code of a very, very simple program. This is the setup function, and this is the draw function. The setup function is something like the new document or new project dialog in any other design application. So it is the place where you put all the information about the project, like the size and the dimensions of the sketch, whereas the draw function defines what happens in the loop. That's why we call it draw loop. It is the place where you put the code that defines what happens over time. Let's get a bit nostalgic here and talk about real film, right? Filming. Back in the days, we captured our videos on celluloid, roll film, and every single picture represented one frame in the animation, right? Just like any movie, processing works with frame-based animations. And the draw loop is the place where we define what happens over time. This is what happens when you hit the run button in processing. And for now, don't think about the code. Just try to understand what I want to say here about setup and draw. The setup function gets executed and the program or the application is just reading what kind of project it shall initialize, right? And then it goes over to the draw function or the draw loop and iterates through it over and over again, right? So the draw loop runs continuously until you stop the program. Let me show you how that works in real life. So I've got this processing window here and I just start writing the sketch by um, putting the setup function in here and then I put the draw function in here, right? And I can define the size of my project with the size function and the size function always belongs into the setup function, okay? By the way, functions are something we have to talk about later. Don't care too much about the details here. It's, it's just important to see how things work in general, all right? Okay, cool. So um, if I run the sketch now, we will get an application window, which is 500 times 500 pixels. This is the width and this is the height of the sketch. Let's draw a rectangle. The next chapter will be about geometric shapes and how we can style them, what kind of shapes we have in processing. For now, don't care too much about that. This is just for demonstration purposes of the draw loop. Let me put the mouse coordinates in here. Whoops, sorry. So he has to be mouse X and mouse Y. The width and the height of the rectangle I wanna draw shall be 50 times 50 pixels. So now there is our rectangle but it leaves a trail on, on the uh, sketch window. Why is that? The processing sketch window works a little bit like a chalkboard in school. We have to clear the chalkboard before we are able to draw something new on it. Otherwise, we are drawing on top of the previous sketch, the previous drawing, okay? So that's the reason why we have to tell the sketch that it should erase everything that's on the surface and uh, then draw something new in it. So that's what we can do with the background function. The background function always has to be placed at the top of the draw loop. So now if I put it in here and we have to give it a value that tells it which color it should draw or paint in this case, because it just paints the whole surface, the whole sketch window. And we, let's say 100, which represents a gray. All right, there we go. So now all the previous drawings get erased. So we get this fluid and very clean rectangle here on the sketch window. That's pretty easy, right? So in the next lesson, we will talk about geometric shapes, how we can style them and what kind of shapes we have available in processing. So see you in the next video.